2,470 men are diagnosed with breast cancer every year in the United States. That's about one in a thousand men that will be diagnosed with this disease. We at the Sarah Cannon Cancer Center at Menorah Medical Center are prepared to help men face the diagnosis of breast cancer. Our interdisciplinary team of breast radiologists, breast surgeons, breast medical oncology, radiation oncology, pathology, and breast navigation all come together to help guide a man through this potentially stressful diagnosis and try to make the pathway as easy as possible. We are all familiar with the unique uh, challenges that face men with the diagnosis and have gone out of our way to try to make this diagnosis friendly regardless of your gender. We also, in looking to open clinical trials, try to find inclusive clinical trials that accept patients regardless of gender and offer comprehensive genetic counseling services to all of our patients. I am proud to be part of a team that provides services like this here at Menorah Medical Center and um, am always available as a resource. Thank you. Good morning, Brett. Good morning. How are, you? How are you? Good. I'm Dr. Stephanie Graff. I'm a medical oncologist and breast oncologist at Sarah Cannon Cancer Centers in Kansas City. And Brett and I are going to be talking to you guys about how to do a self-breast exam, specifically for men, but I think the things we're going to talk to apply to female patients as well. So if you want to take your shirt off, we'll talk a little bit about self-breast exam and clinician-directed breast exam. So I think the most important thing is when you're doing self-breast exam, if you ever feel anything alarming, you should bring it up with your doctors, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Always, if you feel something different in your body, to go to your doctor and, uh, and don't leave until you have an answer that you feel comfortable with. Yeah, and I think the most important part of self-breast exam is knowing your normal. So all of, a, all of our breast tissue naturally feels different, male breast tissue and female breast tissue, and just doing a monthly exam or a monthly check to know what your normal feels like helps you be more aware when something's different. Exactly. Yeah. So um, the first step of any breast exam is just a good um, external inspection. So obviously Brett has a scar and asymmetry from side to side, uh, but most people's breasts should look about the same on the left and the right side. Um, and so if you notice any skin rashes, any puckering of the nipples, flattening of the nipple areolar complex or drawing in of the nipple areolar complex, those are still all sorts of um, unusual things. They should be uh, symmetric in terms of where they are positioned on your body as well. Again, none of us are supermodels. We're not completely perfect. Um, so some of us naturally have one breast larger than the other, but that should be a stable over time. It shouldn't be changing, um, at, specifically outside of the situation of breastfeeding, which obviously our men aren't doing for us. Sure, sure. Um, and then my habit is to examine people when they're laying back. So I'm going to have you go ahead and lay back. Um, and then I also have patients position one arm up over their head to do the breast exam. And our breasts are sort of shaped like a comma. So we've got a tail of breast tissue that goes down and then the bulk of the breast tissue. So I like to start up in the axilla and uh, using two fingers, which are my most sensitive two fingers, cover the full area of the breast um, completely up and down. And some people do it in concentric circles, starting at the nipple and working out um, like a spiral. And some people go um, up and down, back and forth, which is my habit. And I think just sticking with what's most comfortable for you is what's most important. Um, for a male breast, most of your breast tissue is concentrated right behind the nipple areolar complex. I think that a lot of people are sort of uncomfortable touching their nipple areolar complex and sort of naturally skip over that when they're mm -hmm. doing their breast exam. And that's obviously a really important thing. Is that where you felt your lump? Yeah, my lump was directly below the right nipple. Yeah. And that's um, certainly the most common. And then you just go right on over to the contralateral side. I'm going to have you switch arms here. And that's it, super simple and easy. Go ahead and sit up. And then for cancer survivors in particular, people that are feeling things, I also always check their lymph nodes. So, and sometimes that's a little bit easier in the seated position, which are just right, right here, kind of under this front muscle here. You can feel it for any enlarged or atypical lymph nodes. Make sure nothing's there. And then in our supraclavicular spaces, which are the spaces right above our clavicle, I always just do a quick check for no lymph nodes there. And Brett's completely healthy and normal. Yay. That's Thank it. You. Awesome job. Thanks. Thank you, Doc.
I'm Gina Shazapian. I am the nurse navigator here at Sarah Cannon at Menorah for breast cancer. I see all patients who have any type of breast cancer diagnosis. Most of the time that's women, but not always. Um, we have a very significant number of males that come in through our breast center with a lump, with a mass that they've detected, and we're able to diagnose those men as having breast cancer and get them the treatment they need. I have a really good job. I'm very, um, very blessed to be able to get the patients that I work with to excellent providers within our system and really get everything covered for them as far as medical oncology, radiation oncology, surgery, um, everything that they would need. We have a vast array of services and it's my job to, as one of my male patients just asked me the other day, it, are you like the interface that goes in between all the different doctors and between the, the patients? And I said, yeah, I think that's a good way to put it. I'm kind of that computer interface um, to make sure that everybody's talking and that ideally that the patient gets the support and the care that they need. Hi, I'm Brett Miller and I'm a breast cancer survivor. I'm 31 years old now. I was 17 when I first found my lump. I was 24 when I was diagnosed. I'm here to tell you today, men, that we get it too. So do your breast self-exams, get to your doctors if you find a lump, and remember that men have breasts too.